So our favorite hairy fur ball and our favorite smuggler is out this week. That's right, people. Han Solo has finally hit the theaters. So let's get it. Welcome to the Kaiba Show. <laughs> okay, so this movie is starring Alden Ehrenreich, Donald Glover, Amelia Clark, and Woody Harrelson, and is directed by Ron Howard. And basically the premise of this movie is it's a Star Wars prequel where we see a young Han Solo and how he finally meets up with our favorite furry hairball, Chewbacca, his future co-pilot, and the young Lando Calrissian. And they basically go on this adventure where Han has to pretty much do this smuggle deal to get himself out of this big pickle. Okay, so what worked for the movie? To be honest with you folks, this movie was pretty decent. It had a good storyline that actually kept me intrigued from start to finish. There were some good action sequences in here. And the acting was pretty much on point. I felt like Donald Glover, surprisingly, he actually did a good job playing a young Lando Calrissian and Alden too. I was kind of skeptical going into this movie to see if they could live up to the hype of this movie. You know, they had big shoes to fill and I felt like the both of them did a good job playing the young Han and young Lando. And Amelia Clark, Woody Harrelson, you can't go wrong with him either. There was some really, really good acting in this movie. And there was good visuals, obviously, the special effects. It's a Star Wars movie. So there was a lot of things that actually worked for this movie. There was some, some, there were some people that was thinking that this movie was going to be a total bomb, but I didn't think so. So like I said before, there was actually a lot of good things that actually really, really worked for this movie. Okay, so what didn't work for the movie? I don't really have too many complaints with this movie. I thought it was a pretty good, solid movie. The only thing that probably I could nitpick about was I didn't really care too much for the robot in this movie. I believe um, her name is L3. She just didn't do anything for me personally. She's not like, you know, the R2-D2 and the C-3PO's that we have grown to love over the years. She was okay. She had a couple of liners in the movie that I kind of chuckled at. But I think that's like the only real thing that I can nitpick about this movie. Because other than that, it was a pretty good, solid spin-off Star Wars movie. So like I said previously, people, overall, this movie is a pretty good movie. It's not the best Star Wars movie, but it's a pretty good movie. So I definitely recommend seeing this movie. So on a Kaiba scale, a 1 to 10, I'm going to give this movie a solid 8. It has a pretty good storyline. The action sequences are pretty good. So I highly recommend seeing this. And IMAX, definitely see a regular admission. Um, and when it comes out on Blu-ray, I definitely think you should go out and buy it. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. After hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And please hit the like button and leave a comment at the bottom. <music>